When you think about hopping into a game of Call of Duty World War II, you probably jump to some immediate weapon choices, maybe like the MP40, the FG42, the BAR or the BAR, the CAR 98K, the Lee Enfield, the PPSH, maybe things like even the grease gun that might be a little bit under the radar, but still do well. And those are all fine and dandy choices and everything like that, but sometimes you start to get that repetition of, I'm using the same old gun over and over and over again. And sometimes you just wanna change that up. Well, I actually did that a little bits as of recently with some of these weapons that I was prone to using, like the BAR, like the FG42, like the CAR 98K. Those weapons became commonplace for me and a lot of the gameplay you'll see even has some of that as of recently too, but one weapon I decided to go back and try and work on some challenges for within the camo challenges and all that, because this is the year that I want to get to level 1000 and complete all the camo challenges and everything like that. I haven't done that in recent years and I want to get back to that grind simply because I enjoy the game, but the one weapon that I went back to was the M1941. Now this was actually one that I really anticipated not liking because I played around with it a little bit in the beta and even at the early beta when we were out at Sledgehammer Games and it just felt clunky to me. It felt as if it was too big for the rifle category and almost as if it was as large and bulky and heavy for your character's movements as an LMG. So I didn't really stray too much from the path and test this out in the public beta for everybody and then of course I haven't really done it other than recently in the full game as of launch and up, but this thing truly is a monster. It's a machine, it'll shred through everybody, it melts, it rips, whatever you want to describe it as. This thing, honestly, is what I think is the best gun nobody's talking about in World War II at the moment. Now, that said, it is something that doesn't really fall in that meta category where everybody's using it, like the BAR, like the FG-42, like the PPSH, like the MP-40 or the M1928, but it is a weapon that, if you give it a chance, you rank that up a little bit, you get some of the attachments done and all that, it is ridiculously good. I won't lie, it's probably become one of my favorite weapons in World War II to date, and it's something that I'm glad I gave it a shot. I'm glad that I decided to change it up a little bit here with this. And of course, this video is just not necessarily to make sure you guys wean your way off of the meta weapons, but just essentially to kind of say, hey, if you want to try it out, this weapon will definitely melt and do some damage for you if you want to give it a try. So the weapon itself, though, I think is one that is great because of its fire rate, because of its damage and everything like that. The iron sights as well too, while initially I wasn't a huge fan of them, I really became accustomed to them very quickly. I got acclimated and adjusted myself to them in a very short period of time. And I think that this weapon is actually very good for headshots too. The recoil is a very controllable spray pattern. And it's something that definitely, whenever you go for headshots for this, you can just ping players left, right, and center. So it's something that is very versatile. And if you give it a chance, once again, it will do very well for you. But as for the fire rate itself, this is one of those weapons where as of the recent patch and everything, it felt to me like some of the rate of fire for some of the rifles seemed slow, so rapid fire was almost something you wanted to put on every rifle. However, the M1941 has a controllable enough fire rate and it's fast enough that you don't need rapid fire and it'll still end up being a powerhouse. I mentioned that recoil pattern as well too, and once again, that kind of goes hand in hand with the fire rate because the faster the fire rate, the more your weapon is going to kick up and it's going to be less controllable. Now, it is something in which there is a decent amount of kick, but if you throw on a grip, it becomes more manageable and of course, also, if you know that spray pattern, it becomes very easy to control as well too. It's essentially unlike some other weapons in World War II, which is kind of strange for those of you guys that really pay attention to recoil patterns. Sometimes in previous titles, there's almost no recoil whatsoever. Sometimes it's completely arbitrary and completely random, but the M1941 primarily has just a kick of straight up and maybe slightly to the right. So all you have to do is just slightly hold down that right trigger a little bit in the down position to counterbalance that recoil and then it becomes a more of a centralized focal point in which you can stay pinpoint where you want to shoot, but it is something that once again, while it takes a little bit of practice to master, it's very easy to do. And one thing that is nice is that the damage fall off and everything like that, the range for it is still pretty solid, but at range, because of that recoil, it might be better to burst it rather than hold down that trigger. It does become something that, of course, as you get further in the distance, it becomes harder to become more pinpoint and precise and accurate because your target is simply smaller in your perspective to where you could be shooting. Now, I also mentioned a little bit about the fire rate. It's one of the faster firing rifles in the game, and it might be up there as the fastest. I haven't tested them out in particular. I know the STG is also up there as well too, but nonetheless, this thing is really nice and controllable because of that fire rate. Damage is very solid 
and it's something that rivals that of other rifles, but it seems like the damage drop-off is also incredibly nice in which it's very generous. You have that damage at range too, but as we did with the last video that we talked about with an underrated weapon, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a class setup that I think you guys can totally rock and one that I think will definitely work out for you because it's been fantastic for me. So, as always, once again, the weapon is the M1941, that is a no-brainer. The infantry division is what I run on this, and preferably, I would make sure that this is ranked up as high as it can possibly go. I recently just reached level 4 once again, back with the infantry after hitting all the division prestiges and all that with infantry, but it makes a world of a difference that you can move much faster while aiming down sights, and have that little bit of a boost also, just in general, because movement with this thing, as I mentioned before, was one of the big gripes I had with it. But once you throw on infantry, you have that little bit more mobility to it, it becomes very fluid, a very nice choice, no matter what sort of engagement you're going in. Now, of course, that also helps that you have the extra ammunition and the extra attachment slot, which then with primed, you can throw on the attachments that I absolutely think are perfect with this, that giving you a total of four. So quick draw and grip are ones that I always end up rocking pretty much no matter what the circumstance, but of course that is subjective and something you could change out for something you might want in place of them, but I like to be able to snap to targets. I like to be able to get my weapon up very quickly and the grip of course helps to counterbalance that recoil like we mentioned. Then the big things that I also run are high caliber and extended mags. Now high caliber, as you guys know from different class setups and everything like that, it increases headshot lethality, and while it won't give you a one shot every time to the head, it definitely takes away one shot that you need elsewhere on the body instead of consistently two headshots and staying on target the entire time. So you can have a chest shot and a headshot, and it should do the right amount of damage to earn you that kill. Whereas previously, you'd have to do two chest shots and a headshot for it to equal out to be that kill. So once again, that extra shot that you save could be life or death in a gunfight. Now, of course, that's something that I think is a definite must for this one. We mentioned that we don't necessarily need rapid fire because of the fire rate of the M1941 at its base, but one thing that I think definitely does help is the extended mags attachment as well to round out these four attachments, simply because the base of 25 rounds per magazine of the M1941 is a very low number, and especially if you don't have your division ranked up in infantry high enough to have those extra magazines, it's something you really run through ammo incredibly fast, and it's something that I think with this weapon you can stay alive long enough to the point where ammunition might actually become a factor in which you end end up wanting the most so that you can stay alive longer. This thing will shred that much, but whenever you end up throwing on extended mags, it ends up giving you 37 per magazine instead of 25. So while not quite double, it is something where that 1.5 multiplier, if you want to put it that way, is definitely nice in which having the extra 12 shots can actually make a difference. We talked about you probably be able to kill in two shots if you're accurate enough and things like that, but while say probably rounding out to four or five shots in a gunfight, you'll have at least enough for three more gunfights out of that magazine. So definitely nice to consider and to have on, and that's gonna round out the little attachments I run here on this, but I think it absolutely is a monster of a weapon. Now the class, the secondary, once again, is kind of irrelevant because I don't use it all that much. It's primarily just for the M1941, but for what it's worth, I rock the PO8 or the 1911 with a quick draw on that, and then a frag grenade as well too, which by the way, there's a nice little weekly order I think in which you can end up getting a supply drop for I think 200 explosive kills, which grenades definitely count towards that, but you also end up getting streaks like the glide bomb or the artillery barrage that count towards that, so if you want a free supply drop for just simply playing the game, Feel free to throw on the frag grenade and give it a go. But nonetheless, the weapon itself, once again, I think is absolutely fantastic. And it's one that I really want you guys to try out. Once again, it's under the radar for the time being. A lot of people, whenever we talked about the Bren in the last underrated video, they seem to think that I was going to expose this weapon and make the game worse and everything like that, which I'm flattered that some people think my audience is even 0.001% of the active COD player base, but Nonetheless, it's something I just want to give you guys a little heads up to try this out for yourself. If you guys are feeling adventurous, if you guys are feeling like breaking away from your standard norm of those air quote OP weapons of the PPSH, the BAR, the FG42, the CAR 98K if you're a sniper, things like that. If you just want to change up the dynamic and a little bit of how you play, give this weapon a try and I promise that you will do well with it. And especially if you try that little class setup I threw in here as well too, I think you'll definitely just rip through any enemy that comes in your way. But that said, that's where we're going to 
wrap it up. I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback here down there on this weapon. What do you guys think of this? And of course, feel free to tweet me or post in the comments below your results with this weapon. If you guys have any killer gameplays, feel free to share it with me. And of course, we'll talk further more on different things over on Twitter or wherever it may be. But nonetheless, I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback here on this weapon. I think I'm going to continue doing underrated weapons because you know what? Going for some of these challenges, man, I feel like I get some of these underrated weapons that just come out of the woodworks. And for me, they just work perfectly. So I love being able to take a look at some of this stuff and letting you guys know about a weapon you might not necessarily use all that much, but if possible, I'd love to get it in your hands and let you guys have a great time with it. So that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Call of Duty World War II, any information regarding best class setups, best weapons, underrated weapons, leaks, news, information, whatever it may be. If you guys are interested in any of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said, now out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.